honorable members, are you challenging the speaker? I have always told you, monkey play by sizes. So you can play with each other, but not with the speaker. I say monkey play by sizes. Yes, so please, please, let's acknowledge that the Minister for Finance has improved on his record and he's been attending any time we invite him. In fact, he wrote to me explaining why he was absent. You have accepted that explanation. So let's move on. For how many days now the minister has been with us from morning till night? And you know the pressure at the Ministry of Finance, particularly this time. So we should acknowledge that. We should acknowledge that. Is it budget time? <laughs> Not yet. I want us to move on. Senior Prefect. Thank you. Thank you very much, Speaker. Speaker, particularly happy you talk about the sizes of the monkeys and the way they move together. Um, Mr. Speaker, you, you make the point that um, the deputy majority leader may well be a problematic issue that our colleagues have referred to. Mr. Speaker, you also, in the same way, make the point that there must be mutual respect in this house. Look at, is it right for an honorable member on that side to castigate the honorable deputy leader by suggesting that his rise to power has been influenced by, uh, to fame, power, fame, has been uh, uh, influenced or has been uh, picking back by his ability to contort and distort the views of other people to, to, to gain uh, fame or to gain influence. But, but that could be as... Honorable uh, member, I didn't uh, hear that. His rise to fame... That, that is the problem. That's why we actually triggered this argument. That his rise to fame is dependent... Well, I use the word piggyback, but I think he said has been uh, predicated by his ability Levika, to twist other people's views and facts to suit the occasion. That is why he's risen to fame or he's risen to influence. That is what the minority uh, uh, deputy, uh, deputy leader said. Well, of course you are here. Mr. can I complete? Please, Mr. 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 You have been in this house, Mr. Mr. with the, the big boys like us, Mr. for many years that Mr. Mr. you can recall. This house, Mr. Speaker, is disintegrating. It is. Mr. Mr. there's so much shouting, there's so much animosity, no room for tolerance, Mr. Speaker, in this house. We will not be used to this. People get upset because these tantrums are thrown all over the place and Mr. Speaker, the whole place breaks out into insanity. It isn't right, Mr. Speaker. But I'm happy today, Mr. Speaker, you make the point. Monkeys play by sizes. And so people should learn to play their role. My, 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 he's laughing. He, 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 he knows his role. Mr. Speaker, that is the point. Let's try and introduce some sanity to that. Sometimes Mr. Speaker, I sit here and I get completely distressed. For all these years, Mr. Speaker, you were here, there, and that we haven't observe this. And now, Mr. Speaker, I have inverted two, almost two weeks. I'm sitting here. They say they won't approve me, so I'm sitting here. Look at all of this. Can you imagine? But I made my point. I mean, I made my point. Mr. Speaker, so, so, Mr. Speaker, I think I, I would I would invite you to ask the Honorable Deputy Minority Leader, Mr. Speaker, to speak to the point. Withdraw it. I am not saying that whether he if he cares, he should apologize. But withdraw and Mr. Speaker, apologize to the honorable member and to the house. It affronts the dignity of this house. It affronts the dignity of the leadership of this house. Mr. Speaker, these are my comments. Please, please, honorable members, this morning I raised the issue of the difficulty of us seated here, hearing the submissions of the leaders. It's very difficult for us to get, because your mics seem to have some challenges. So I didn't hear that the deputy minority leader made some statements to that effect. I want to hear from him now whether 
what the Honorable Katie Hammond said is true of your submissions this morning. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, I rose again to basically say that what I stated earlier, that Honorable Femi Markin was tracing it, because as you correctly stated, I was making reference to the minister's absence. No, 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 please. Absence. I just want to know what you said. What I said was that he was uh, Honorable Asenio Maki was twisting my words. His rise and to that, fame. And that his rose to fame was about twisting words of people. And I was using exactly what he did as an example. Yes. Exactly what he did. But Mr. Speaker, let me make a larger point. Mr. Speaker, for the last three weeks let me finish, since I've been here. Let me finish with this issue. Mr. Speaker, let me deal with this Please, point. please, 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 please. It's unfair. It's unfair to say that the Honorable Deputy Majority Leader's rise to fame is based on his twisting and turning of what people say. That definitely is unfair. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I respectfully will draw that. But, Mr. Speaker, let me state something. The Honorable Afenyo Maki. The owner of Fenyo Market will have the courage to tell me, Honorable Kofi Bua, a four-term member of parliament who has worked 20 years in the corporate world, who has served as deputy minister properly vetted, served as a minister of state, that I don't have the courage. I am a courageous man. That's why I've served this country so honorably. I've even been a deputy minister in this country. Since I've been here, you Boise TV, a dancing costume.